Hello Heartfelt Creation friends. Today I want to show you how I made this sparkling poinsettia photo tray. I started with a photo tray that I found at Hobby Lobby on the clearance section and it had a dent in the side on the left hand side so I decided to paint it with some Martha Stewart craft paint. The color is called Chipotle and I didn't sand it or anything I just painted it with the um, with the red color. And once it dried really good, then I used some Americana Weathered Wood Crackle Medium um, and let that dry really good because I wanted that nice crackle. There it is with the Crackle Medium. And now I'm, I painted it with an unbleached titanium craft paint um, and let it dry really good. So I got that really bit of red peeking out through the white for that crackle color. Now I'm, I'm stamping the Sparkling Poinsettia stamp set onto some Cherry Cobbler um, cardstock with espresso truffle memento ink. I wanted to show you how I stamp it and then I'm going to show you how I die cut it with the die cut machine that I use. So um, I stamped at least eight of these for this particular project. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I cut out the um, poinsettia, sparkling poinsettia that I'm going to put on my um, fancy frame I've been working on. So I've had some questions about what kind of die cut machine I use. I use an e-bosser. It's an electric machine from Craftwell. And um, I love it. All those years that I've used manual machines like the Wizard and the Grand Caliber, have made me have some shoulder issues and um, you don't have to do anything with this so it's pretty nice really nice as a matter of fact and all my dies work on it so um, you can put your um, steel rule dies in and you can put your um, low profile dies so um, the sandwich for this is really easy too. It's just um, the D plate and the C plate. There's a shim called the B shim. Here's a magnetic shim too. And then you just put your die on here cut side up just like you do on every other die cutting machine. My um, my cutting, my cutting mat's getting to look pretty bad. I'll replace it soon, but I'll probably make it look even worse before I replace it. It's not bowed or anything, so I'm gonna keep using it. So that's my um, my sandwich, and I just feed it in the machine. And once it starts going, no hands. It takes about 15 seconds or so. Sometimes you can even like walk away and do something and then come back. You don't have to catch it or anything. And you can see back here um, behind where I have my die cutting station, I have um, mag uh, adhesive magnets on the wall to hold all the dies that I use. I got some tonic die. Mostly these dies are a couple spell binders. I had a couple tonic dies. And, but the rest of it is all heartfelt creations. So, okay, so here's, I cut out my sparkling poinsettia. And there you go. All done. One pass. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut out all the flowers that I need, and then I'll come back and show you how I shape them. To shape, her, the, to shape the sparkling poinsettia flowers, just use your um, deluxe flower shaping kit um, from Heartfelt Creations. I'm using the mat and the stylus. I've got like, um, I don't remember what size stylus it is. And then the flower um, petal uh, rolling tip. And I use the tip without putting the petal in and just give it some dimension and roll to it. And then I use my favorite stylus tip to um, make it kind of um, stand up and give it a lot, a lot of dimension. It's not hard at all. I did a whole bunch of flowers in the space of about 10 minutes. Now I'm gluing them together with my Artist Dries Clear Glue that I got from the Heartfelt Creation Store. Love this stuff. I use it on almost everything. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some cute music to the, um, the video, some Christmas music to get you in the mood, and you can watch how I finished making this um, photo tray into a beautiful sparkling poinsettia Christmas home decor project. Thank you for watching.